Do 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 do. Insert theme song music. Yay! Yay! Hi! Hi! Hello. Uh, good. Good evening. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Hello. Welcome to Once Upon a Game. Uh, this is season two uh, of Once Upon a Game. This is episode fourteen. Uh, we are now either at or or over a hundred hours of Once Upon a Game. I'm pretty sure. Like. Nice. It's pretty. Feels pretty good. Um, so for those who don't know, uh, Once Upon a Game is a story game variety show uh, where we get to play an indie RPG uh, in like a one-shot setting. Uh, oftentimes these, one, these RPGs are kind of RPGs where you don't really have a GM who, who tells you, yeah, but um, I'm going to make you roll for it. You know, like we don't really do those kind of games as much. Uh, we, we, we often do games that are put fi the fiction first. Uh, we do games that often um, queer what the, what a GM does and what a player can do and how you can contribute to a story. You often contribute, uh, the way I've heard it described is that we play games where uh, what we can describe and what happens in the world is, is greater than the effect of just any individual character. We can make the world, we can make situations, we can make scenes. Um, the way these games work are that um, they, they rely heavily on, on player input. Uh, more than more than any other game. So there's less rules. It's more about you contributing as a person, uh, your creative ideas, and and running, letting those run wild. Uh, as a one shot, uh, I encourage everybody here who's playing to kind of go like go hard. Uh, you know, make make some make a twist. Uh, everything here is 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 killable, right? Um, we're not going to return to this. So it's okay if if things change. Uh, if you want to have a dramatic thing, make it so. Don't wait. Uh, you don't have to wait for this. We can always just keep playing from from everything, uh, unless uh, there's there's one catch to that. Uh, if you are uncomfortable with anything, so say someone put something way off your own your own line. So I know uh, Adam and Kelsa, uh, we we've played before. Um, I would consider us friends. I would consider us more than friends. I would consider us That's best too friends. Too far. Too far. Fair enough. <laughs> but. This goes true for for groups of friends. This goes true uh, goes true for groups of strangers. Say you're at a, a, a convention setting, uh, and you don't know you don't really know who you're playing with. Um, there's we have a parachute. We we have a we have a, a fire extinguisher. It's called the X card or the veil. Uh, it's another way uh, I have here. I've been told uh, that's how it's phrased. Uh, basically, if you do this symbol like an X or a giant X, uh, or you just say to the group being like, hey, listen, I'm not really comfortable with, with this idea. You know you know what we were talking about spiders that um, eat people alive uh, or they inject their youngs in, into them? No, I was like, yeah, you know how I said I was cool with that? Uh, I'm not cool with it, actually. We need, we need, we, I'm sorry, like, I can't do it. That's completely fine. It is 100% fine. That is what we. That is what the X card rule is there for. It's so you don't feel uncomfortable. Because the worst game experiences of your entire life will be when you're playing a game when you're uncomfortable. Uh, that that is easily like the like the number one thing. Um, you don't have to justify it either. That's the magical part of it. Is that you don't have to uh, put up a case to be like I don't want to see these spiders who inject their young into people for the following three reasons. Like you don't have to do that. We trust you. And that's it. I like magic. It's gonna be gone. Okay. So um, those are those are like the kind of the fun rules that we that we play with here. Uh, that's that's like the most important part. Um, so it's all about the players, uh, and it's a one shot, and we do it safely. Those are like the big things, right? So uh, let's 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 meet the cast here. So uh, let's start let's start with Adam. Hey. Hey, Adam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, cool. Are you excited for for tonight's game? I am super excited. Yes. I saw part of the one on Monday, and I liked what I saw, so I'm very very excited to play tonight. Awesome! Yes, yes, so good, so good. So uh, before before I hand it over to Kelsa, uh, tell me what is your favorite uh, love triangle relationship drama or something like that? Like, what was your favorite like love story? Uh... Hard to think up on the spot. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't know. Hard to say. Your favorite relationship. If you could ship a couple, any any fictional couple, what would you do? Who would you choose? Um, 
And uh, fitting, in the, yeah. fitting in the theme of uh, getting off of a role play show, I guess uh, I'll just stick with uh, Bon Bon and um, um. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I forgot his name. I'm I'm a ter I'm a terrible fan. What's Dodger's character? In uh, in uh, breakdown. Yeah. Breakdown. There we go. I'm a, I'm a terrible fan. I'll see myself out right now. Um, bon Bon breakdown. I'll say. I, thought um, you were, I I I honestly thought you were gonna say Maurice for a second. Yeah. Oh. So hard to. Um, <laughs> a steady, a steady in chat, all caps. <laughs> Do not say Maurice. Do not say Maurice. Do not say Maurice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I almost hinted at that. It's awesome. breakdown and Bon Bon. They are awesome. So I'll say that. Yes. <laughs> uh, so uh, for 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 the new viewers and and every, I want to thank everybody for hosting me this evening. Um, there's a reason why I'm asking about relationships tonight, but uh, just hold on, hold on to that little nugget first for a little bit as we uh, we get to learn a little bit about Kelsa. Kelsa, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good. Today is my day off, and I specifically was like, I am just gonna chill. I'm gonna do anything I want as long as I don't have to do it. <laughs> oh, and nice. uh, that pretty much worked out. Like. Um, I went to the coffee shop and I sat there and I did some knitting and I was like, well, as long as I'm right next to the grocery store, I'll pick up a few things. And then, you know, that's a nice little horrible. sweet, nice little sweet, relaxing day for you. It was, I needed it seriously. Yeah. So yeah, no, absolutely. A nice little like uh, mental recharge a day a little bit. Cool. So, so tell me, Kelsa, what's your, um, what's your favorite either relationship movie or if you could ship anybody ah oh, gosh I, I was thinking about it because like I, I i knew this was coming and um like my initial like gut reaction is like a, a legend but there's not like that is such a bad like you mean the movie yes i mean with the movie tom with, cruise like, with tom cruise and okay Taylor. yeah okay yes exactly <laughs> <laughs> All right. Exactly. I, was, I wanted to make sure. Uh, I watched that movie so many times as a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> like, like as a tween, yeah. uh, uh, my sister had a copy, and I just yeah. that I was. It. Can I reveal something? Yes, please. Um, about that movie, that was the first DVD my parents ever bought. <laughs> was like the, the edition of of Legend. That was such a good movie, though. Um, and like, you're never rooting for Tim Curry in no, that movie but never. it's you, there is a legit kind of sort of creepy love triangle going that... on there <laughs> it's okay oh <laughs> so as far as shipping goes just yeah. because um I don't get Who's... to say this one enough is um this is also from an old TV show um going back is a uh, now I'm a bad fan and can't remember the name of a character. Um, it's from Babylon Five, Susan Ivanova, and Marcus Cole. That was it. Who's Marcus? Yeah. Is Marcus? Yeah. Who's Marcus Cole? <laughs> uh, he was the the ranger. He had the uh, little staff thing. From Good Babylon enough. Five. Yeah. Obviously, I've never seen Babylon Five. But, Spoilers. Well, that's why it's from right. Babylon Five. Oh, okay. I was like. Yeah. I thought for a second Marcus Cole was the dude from True Detective. Mm, I've never seen True Detective, so... Oh, okay. Um, no, um, it's from Babylon 5. Uh, so, let me, let me think about this question, because I actually don't have an answer for my own question as well. Right? It's hard to just be right? like, whoa. Um, well, I know, I know one of the per like, people I would, I would ship, right? Uh, Miss Frizzle from, from the Magic School Bus. The teacher. But with who? Um, is Your... there another like? Is there like a fictional Bill Nye? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? About... <laughs> it's like a cartoon Bill Nye. Obviously, the personality uh... from um... the bus, right? <laughs> the personality from the bus gets personified, and boom. Uh, what? What about the uh, the personal like the personification of the TARDIS from that one episode of... Oh, Disney. yeah, no, I would ship the TARDIS and the Magnus School Bus. That's what I would do. Bam, there we go. Yeah, that's that's what I choose. That's, that's exactly... Yeah. Okay. That's, there we go. Help. 
Thank you. That's that's what I wanted. Okay, so uh, why are we shipping people tonight? Well, tonight we're playing a really cool game because this month of Once Upon a Game is all dedicated to romance games. Uh, we're dealing with intimacy, romance, relationship, drama. Uh, so you're going to get to see some really cool one-shot games that kind of handle something that you don't always see in every game uh, in, in terms of relationship sims and dating. Uh, so uh, tonight's game is Shooting the Moon by... Uh, an awesome developer named Emily Care Boss. Um, this game is about a love triangle. It's about two suitors going uh, going after uh, a beloved, right? Uh, it's it's a quasi competitive game where where we are going to be competing for for the uh, the prize of the game. Uh, so there it's very very open for, for what kind of setting and what kind of place mm -hmm. uh, that we're going to be doing and that's actually the first part of the game and how we get started uh we're going to be establishing our setting so uh do we have any kind of setting that we have in mind uh we're supposed to just kind of talk about it and agree on something real quick yeah. so I, I had an idea sure and i know like i spatted out a hundred ideas on monday <laughs> uh, <laughs> while i was in the chat but um just a probably half an hour before we went live uh, I had like this epiphany of a type of game I have not seen um, uh, on this show and that I'm not normally drawn to but mm. like what if it was 100% mundane everyday regular people trying to do like online dating a la Sleep is in Seattle so we never meet in person well no you do like have you seen the movie Sleep is in Seattle no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. No. No. I have. I have. That's that's when they're. Um. That's Bill Murray, right? Yes. It's yeah. They're. Oh no. I get. I get that one. And there's. There's one with where they Tom start Hanks. Online correspondences, and they wind up being like enemies in like opposing sides of a business deal. Oh, it's you got mail. All right. Um, I'm not, I flip my own tables. Okay. Yeah. I'm oh, like, goodness. what? Okay. All right. I lose it. The internet. Oh, thank you, Sith Master. <laughs> okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw this. It was Bill Murray and some some girl, and they're like a hotel bar, talking the whole time. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. It was a movie. They both came out similar times. That's fair. Mistakes were made. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, it was my idea. I, it doesn't. It's. I'm not married to it or anything. Yeah. So. I was thinking about going more to the fantasy side of things. I'd be um, cool with that too. I was thinking just some sort of like fairy tale setting, just doing some straight classic kind of fairy tale. Uh huh. Uh, people competing over a prince or something. Uh, something nice and simple. That's what I would do. But I would also do um, <laughs> that we brought up machine romances. I would totally do Transformers. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Wow. <laughs> Just go huh. really weird. Uh, it's on the brain. I am wearing a Decepticon shirt tonight. There we so go. <laughs> that's that's what we're doing. Oh man. I'm just saying, uh, it's an option. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. Do we want to do Transformers? Or do we want to do things? <laughs> what are, what are, what are your opinions? Fantasy Transformers. Everyone's like a catapult. <laughs> <laughs> Wall. <laughs> Palisade. <laughs> <laughs> Moat. <laughs> uh. Yeah, trench. <laughs> or or just covered wagon. <laughs> oh, let's um. Donkey donkey pulled cart. Adam, you haven't you haven't suggested a setting, Adam. I'm gonna put you on I the really spot like here. I really like both of those: fantasy, or Transformers, or Transformers fantasy. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, I know. Um. It's Monday. You did uh, Cyberpunk future sci-fi yeah we, we did we did sci-fi last game i would like yeah, to yeah so it'd be cool, cool to do something not either opposite or at least semi semi different from that oh I, um, I can swing further than that i could go space opera Ooh. also cool i also like space opera i'm a fan mm -hmm. I, i'm sorry kelsa it's just like i'm not sure if i i i can't get the gears going for your your you got mail idea that's okay that's that. Like I said, I, it's, I'm not married to it. It was an idea that I just it came into yeah. my head, but I'm pretty flexible other than that. So I just thought I'd throw it out there, and see what happens. Yeah, it's, my only problem is that like I don't I don't think I 
No, if you're if you're yeah. not into it, then it won't work. It's not that I'm into so... it; it's that I don't understand it, and I don't want I don't want to waste five minutes explaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I really uh, like Transformers, but I'm I'm I feel like it would be weird to get it to work. I don't think it would be weird at all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Some machines okay, need so, love. So it sounds like it sounds like you. Oh, Starscream Megatron. <laughs> I like the idea, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm good for it. Do you want to have the Decepticon love triangle over Megatron? <laughs> you want to do? I mean, I don't know the many like Transformer names. If we just want to make them up, I'm fine with we it. We obviously would have to make them up. Yeah, I don't because I don't. I mean, know we can go Transformers. I'm, I'm, I'm game. Ah, uh, do we? I'm not. Are we? We're doing this. We're doing. Do it. you have hesitations? I have slight hesitations. Yeah. Okay. Like. I like going either fantasy or, or space opera. We can still have giant robots, but okay. maybe they're not the end. Then we should do space opera with mechas in it. Yeah. Mecha space opera. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Done. Cool. See, yes. there we go. Best of best yeah. of all the worlds here. Um, <laughs> Got it. Literally, because we're dealing with probably the, either the prettiest man or woman in all of the worlds. All of them. <laughs> all or of the them. smartest. Or the smartest. So, mm -hmm. uh, what we're gonna, what we got to do together now is we have to determine who's going to play Suitor One, who's gonna play Suitor Two, and who's gonna be the beloved. Uh, the way it's okay. way this is going to work is that Suitor One and Suitor Two are going to be competing for the beloved. So, who, okay. how do we want to divvy things up before we start assigning uh, descriptions and attributes? Ooh, mech pilots relationships. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, is this gonna be like a military drama? That could, that's a possibility. Possibly. And like we're, it's like a sexy mech Battlestar Galactica. Or maybe, <laughs> or or like Zoids ish, where it's like not yeah. really military, but it's still like it's like a competition kind of thing or yeah. something like that, or like races or something. Pod racing. <laughs> yeah, pod, pod racers. <laughs> oh my god, Love sexy this. pod racing. Oh my god, sexy Feeling pod it. racing. <laughs> Yes! Oh God, please, please don't let me get sued Bob by George Rick. Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> please. <laughs> this we're, is, we're mech racing. Let this racing happen. Robots. Yeah. Oh my, God. oh my gosh. Okay, cool. And they can't fly more than a certain amount. Otherwise, yeah. they're disqualified for <laughs> pod racing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet. The run. Oh. Right, so I guess, does anybody else have any, like, hard, so, you know, be a beloved or a suitor? I was beloved last game. I mean, I could be the beloved again. I don't have to be. I would kind of not want to be if, so, if, if something uh -huh. if that's possible. But I don't really care either way. And I agree that I think that Eric should be a suitor. Yes. So if you yeah. want to be the beloved, you can have it. Otherwise, I'm also yeah. it. Yeah. So, time to redeem pod racing. <laughs> <laughs> that's our job tonight. The onus, <laughs> the onus is on us, guys. Redeeming it with sexy pod racing. Let's do mm -hmm. it. All right. Um, mm. I'll be a suitor. All right. Awesome. Okay. So then I will be the other suitor. Uh, okay. Suitor one or two for you, Adam? Uh, suitor Doesn't. two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be suitor uh, one. Awesome. Okay. Then, Kelsey, you okay with being the beloved? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All right. So now, Ooh. awesome. So now we're going to co uh, collaboratively come up with six attributes for our beloved. Um, so a little bit before... We, we come up with attributes. Um, the, there are some sort of like definitions we have to go over here. Uh, attributes are defined as being desirable in this world that the characters inhabit. Okay, uh, so this this beloved is is going to be um, it's going to be characteristics of their body, personality, strengths, or re or resources they have in the world. Okay, um, and these attributes are all going to be desirable. So is our setting going to be something like Tatooine pod racing? Is, mm -hmm. Like or, specifically, um, should we like, do Tatooine or should we do like big different... space? Big. Space, oh, it should be like. Space city. Oh, should it be like Formula One pod racing? Like this is like sponsored stuff. Like oh yeah, high, like, like high street stakes, street. like high stakes. Oh my God, Need for Speed oh, yeah. pod racing. <laughs> <laughs> so underground yes. pod racing. Underground. Yes. Two pod, pod two furious. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, this is even better. This is even better. We're doing yes. underground <laughs> pod racing of, of Corsican, right? Isn't that the big yeah. city? Corsican no, underground yeah. pod racing, yeah. Corsican underground pod racing. 
Oh, is it croissant? What is it? I think it's croissant. 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 <laughs> okay. It's croissant. It was... uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh my French. god. Yes. Like. <laughs> okay. Coruscant. Yeah. It's it's the giant like, mega city. Underground Coruscant. Coruscant. Pottery. Coruscant. Okay. Sweet. I'm sure chat will correct us. Hopefully. Hi, chat. <laughs> Please. Some, some <laughs> Tell us. Some giant city world legally distinct from Coruscant. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Croissant pottery. City. It's called croissant. <laughs> croissant. As you know. <laughs> as, as you all know, <laughs> the planet's called Croissant. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, this is this is this is already the best setting. <laughs> I, I don't even know where we have to go from here. I love this so much. Good work, everybody. So uh, we have to come up with attributes for our beloved, right? Uh, there needs to be six of them. I'm gonna cut over so we can see our roll twenty screen here. So I'm gonna write in here for the setting underground pod racing in giant city not Corsican not I'm just not croissant <laughs> <laughs> the planet's called croissant like Kelso said it's legally distinct croissant <laughs> okay uh, so we need to come up with six attributes right anybody want to start with the first one um I mean, we're going to be fighting over like their their love or affection, right? Like that's so. Gonna be... So these these are for the beloved, right? Yeah. Uh, so okay. and um, these can be like adjectives or like they can be something that the person has. They yeah. Can be... Each of us are going to choose two. Okay. The okay. example in the book that they give is that in the setting, uh, they the the example in the book gives pirates, um, and they come up with um, ruthless, daring, ambitious, infamous, carousing, and they have the best ship. As, as examples. So, okay, cool. Um, um, I mean, best ship seems pretty obvious. I have no, I have no problem. Yeah. I mean, Fastest pod. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna do text box because I fucking hate. Hey, roll twenty. Fix your text boxes. <laughs> Jk, I still love you. Um. <laughs> Sith master, deep in the flaky depths of croissant. <laughs> Flaky. <laughs> yep. The gooey underbelly. <laughs> the buttery underbelly. <laughs> All the twists and turns. Oh my god, who's playing? Oh my god, can our beloved be the the Star Wars equivalent of Vin Diesel? <laughs> oh my god. Um, fastest pod well, racer. Uh, I forgot who said it, but um, it's uh, sexy Sebulba. Oh my god, sexy <laughs> Sebulba. <laughs> Oh, is no. that their name? Sir Bulba? I love oh it. Goodness. I would take that. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this is good. This we'll is just really... take all the names from Star Wars and just change them slightly. <laughs> the fastest pod racer that undoubtedly many Bothans died for. <laughs> um, so, so everybody gets to do two. That's, that's one. That's for me. So let, let's just go around the table here. Fastest pod racer. Okay. Um, I guess I would say like. Oh, I, I have an obvious one. Um, polyglot. I speak all the languages. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's attractive. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I'm not sure if there's a better word for it, but like, care, good at trash talk like charismatic or quick-witted or something like that because there's obviously trash talk because everyone shows up with their cool sexy pods right beforehand revs all the engines and then they're like oh no your pods crap oh no well, your pods green and green sucks or whatever green pod sucks it's true. Green pod sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like they're good at trash talk i'm not sure of a better way to do that, but yeah, yeah, no, trash, 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 trash. Yeah, sharp tongue. Sharp tongue would be yeah, the, sharp tongue. There we go. Cool. the appropriate way of putting it. I just have to fix a camera. Thank you so much for catching that. Uh, that's called hashtag professionalism. They're trash talk wise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stenny. Uh, trash, yeah, trash talk wise. <laughs> of course. For, for mouse guard. Okay. <laughs> um, Kelsa, let's just go around the table. Each do one. I did my one. Did, did you not write it down? Oh, did I, I didn't. Oh, polyglot. That's right. Polyglot. Yeah, I'm, I'm just spaced out. I was so busy with the camera that I didn't write it down. Fair. 
Fair. So, uh, fastest pod racer, polyglot, mm-hmm. trash talk wise. Um, um, I, we're saying she, but is is it a she? It sounds I don't know. You've been saying um, they. I, You've been saying she. Well, I, I don't care how they're doing it. Nice butt. <laughs> nice butt. Um, nice butt is mine. They got a nice, <laughs> nice round yeah. butt. Cool. Mm. Um, I'm gonna say exotic, like some sort of cool alien race. Oh, what's the one with the um the double? Twilight. Twilight. Yeah. yeah. Cool alien race. Can I can I build on that and say Twilight? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, well, I'll, I mean, I don't know. I don't know Star Wars races. Well, That's the only one I thought well, of. For ours, it's legally distinct. It's Trilek, and they have three of those things. Mm, oh, gotcha. <laughs> Trilek, three. Oh my gosh, I got. A, when I get to physically describing them, I got some ideas three, bubbling. Four, five. All right, we got one more. Oh, that's me. Uh, shoot. Um. Um, hmm. Like, fearless is not the right word, but like that, but more, um, Daredevil? less, less Risky? reckless, less reckless, like, still, like, uh, give me, give me a, like, a, an idea of what you mean, like, where, where would this trade come up, like, in, like, pod racing? Yeah, like not just pod racing, but like in pod racing or something like competitive. One of, those, one of those like never tell me the odds kind of moments of, you know, look, I'm going to take this, but it's not. Uh, it's like a combination between overconfident and and, and fearless, but it sounds, sounds like, like courageous or brave. It sounds like daredevil. Uh, I, I, yeah, daredevil. Yeah, yeah, we'll go daredevil. Yeah, daredevil. yeah. Yeah. Take Daredevil. I'll take it. This guy's badass. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, there's our, there's our six traits. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, the next thing that we're gonna do <laughs> is uh, now that we have our six traits, um, we're going to start uh, modifying and creating attributes for our suitor one and suitor two. So uh, what's our? Do, I guess we do names uh, last, right? So I would be suitor one. And Adam is suitor too. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking some of these traits here, and we're going to be taking the a synonym for the trait and an antonym for the trait, or like as best as we can approximate. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to be giving them to ourselves because that's how we create characters, right? So we're going to be alternating um, one for themselves and one for the other. So let's let's see here. Okay. Um, since you're a suitor one, do you go first? Uh, yes. Okay. So um, we're going to make some attributes by choosing synonyms and antonyms. Uh, the fastest pod racer. So the other one would be, um, I mean, how do you have a synonym for a fastest pod racer? Just a fast pod racer? Uh, how um, do you? Could you go top, like cool? Top notch, oh. ra- top notch racer? Mm. I would say, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, that sounds good actually. So I'll make or, a new. Um, maybe, um, like, like. I'm gonna say custom game. built pod racer. Oh, okay. Cool. So that's my synonym. I'm gonna give that for myself, which means okay. you're getting an antonym. Okay. Do you give that to me, or do I give that to myself for the antonym? Oh, uh, we do it technically together. Okay, oh no no no! See, in the example, they say as uh, the suitor one and chooses the pair, cautious and thorough thinking. So I guess I would choose the antonym as well. Okay, um, I have an I had an idea, but since it's yours, you can say yes or no. Of course, I was thinking no pod racer. Like oh. they're not a racer; they're just part of that. Like, like maybe purpose. like you're maybe some other part of the pod racing scene. Yeah, I was gonna say Unless broken. Broken pod racer. Like no, I, I like your idea. Like your pod racer is broken. <laughs> Or like you're a broken person who used to be a pod racer. Oh, <laughs> I meant. Oh boy, that's that's too deep. <laughs> not since the crash. Yeah, not since the accident. Um, <laughs> no, I, I like I like the idea. So you're not a pod. Like, well, that's not. Is that really a description? Just you just don't own one or never pod raced? Would that be one? 
A or, pit crew is what uh, Chad is suggesting. Yeah, pit crew. I guess I was, I was taking it as like the antonym of the best pod racer is no pod racer, but yeah, if we, yeah, no. however fine. you want to go with it. I'll say pod racer pit crew is fine. So you don't actually yeah. race. Cool. So, so I sign a synonym and an antonym. Okay, so um, then we, we switch off. So each of us is going to be doing this. We don't have to also do it in order of, of the first three, right? We can You can select whatever um, beloved right. attribute mm -hmm. that we gave and then create synonym antonyms. Poser pod racer. That's pretty good, <laughs> actually. Thank you. Paid to be um, in last place would have also been pretty he good. He wears just racing gear all the time and hangs out with everybody. <laughs> I go to all the cool pod racer bars, but... Yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> Oh um, I'm gonna take uh, our trilec. Mm. Um, I'm gonna give myself the antonym of uh, like plain human, and then um, I'll give you the synonym. So, I guess another cool alien race. Maybe you're. Uh, oh, do you want to be the uh, the Darth Maul kind of race? Yeah, you, the the patently you know, not. Badass? Yeah. Um, what's guys? What's the name? Ed Hardy Pod Racer. <laughs> I'm say Mark Echo. That's better. Um, yeah. What's the name of the Darth Maul race? I forget. God, I uh, bet there's you... an internet that could probably tell. Yeah. If, if Adam ever watches stream, he'd be like, "God, he's so dumb." <laughs> <laughs> with you guys. God. Um, let's go with. Uh, I'm just gonna put Darth Maul race. <laughs> to win tentative. That what is it? Zabrak. Zabrak. Part. Yeah, that, that, that internet thing helped me. Not Darth Maul. But not Darth Maul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Leafington also just posted it. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Leafington. I love you. Hearts to you. Okay. Cool. Uh, Kelsa? Um, ooh, and then uh, I create these, but then do I also assign them to each one of you? Yes, you was you will create which one and you'll create the synonym and antonym and then assign it. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna break the mold a little bit. I'm gonna take Daredevil and I am going to give uh, the synonym of um, reckless risk, risk taker to suitor two. Okay. And the antonym of um uh cautious to uh suitor one awesome just to, just to you know rock the boat a little bit mm -hmm. i love it risk uh reckless risk taker and um you said cautious <laughs> right and cautious yeah okay cool uh so those are our three traits for for each of us okay so we each have three attributes um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be modifying each other's attributes. Uh, so traits are words or phrases chosen for the suitors that modify the existing attributes in some way. For each existing attribute, a player will choose a new trait to write after it. Uh, the new attribute should strengthen, uh, strengthen, weaken, or give more detail to the original attribute. Um, so we're going to modify one for ourselves, one for each other, and then the beloved player gets to modify one. Okay? So for example... Um, if someone had the trait uh, a heartless or, 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 you know, that you could also modify it then with, but loves animals, you know, you, could add, you can qualify yeah. things and add a little twist here. Um, so I'm gonna put, uh, does anybody want, immediately want to go? Does anybody have one they really just wanna just twist in there, either for themselves or another player? Um. I guess I, I have one for... Uh... Do, are each of us going to do two of these again? Uh, we all get to choose um, one. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're, you're, you're modifying one for... So as a suitor, you're modifying, modifying one for yourself and one for the other player. Okay. okay. And then the, the remaining one gets modified by the beloves, uh, beloved. All right. But um, depending on the order, uh, the game star isn't really, cl isn't really clear with the order. So... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't care. Um, I, whatever's the most fun, right? If yeah, yeah. we have a really cool say, idea, um, go with custom it. Custom-built pod racer. 
Yeah. But unreliable. Yeah. Oof. Maybe that's why I'm cautious. <laughs> um, unreliable. And then for myself. Uh. Hmm. Is it Brack but a midget? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Well, won my heart already. Let's just go home. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah um well i might not go midget but uh i'm gonna say born without horns oh okay or whatever the spikes yeah so hornless hornless oh you you know that's like a name that you get called all the time like horny it's like, a, it's like it's like mud blood or something yeah <laughs> filthy hornless Cute um, little demon spawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hornless, hornless McGee over here. All oh, hornless. Um, cool. So, I'm born without horns, is what I would give myself. All right. So, um, I need to. Um, oh gosh, nope. Uh, I'll, th this is just too good. Uh, so I since I have to do the one that's left for you, Eric. It's mm -hmm. cautious, except in matters of the heart. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I'm like, say, a, I'm like an angsty teenager with like a, a souped up hot rod. I love it. It was no, like, because an angsty myself. teenager would totally be cautious in, in, in things of the heart. You're more like, like. Oh, the, the opposite. The opposite of that. Like the, the, the brooding loner. Yeah, like. <laughs> Anyway. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Steny, is that even established? I don't even want to repeat that. <laughs> but hung like a Wookiee. <laughs> is that racist, -y? Is that space racist? Is that spacist? Oh gosh. I mean, you know. I mean, we could, we could, uh, well, similar along those lines, uh, but experienced with uh, pleasing uh, non-humans. Um. Plain human, but shops around. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, plain human, but went blue and never went back. <laughs> um, I have. I was gonna do um, for Potter or Pit Crew. I was gonna do uh, but new to the squad. Ooh, interesting. You said mm. uh, you said Pod race or Pit Crew, but new to the crop to the squad. Yeah, like new to the crew or new to the squad or whatever. Yeah. All right. And the reckless risk taker, I will modify to be um, I, mean, I don't want to say but with relationships. Uh, I want to do something different. Um, can I I want, it might just be like especially with something. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, I got it. Um, especially uh, betting money. Oh, okay, cool. I give you like we're supposed to be like messing with each other, but we each gave ourselves so awesome flaws that like we're like, oh, there you go, buddy. Here's a, here's a, here you go, pal. Here's a little, a little, so it's, little stand up. It's like all, all the games we usually play are is like, no, everyone's trying to play together and everything. So, it is. Oh, <laughs> I wish I wish you. No, well, I think it's gonna be a very interesting game because yeah. I think the, the balance of everything means that there's there's. <laughs> Things are gonna things are gonna go interesting. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I, I'm digging this. So um, now we now we we jump back to the beloved. I think um, unless I missed something. Hold on. Did, 
we don't give ourselves um, the things yet. Because we're supposed to give ourselves three things at one point. But no, that's later on. Uh, that's that's part F. Okay, cool. So uh, now we're now we jump back to the beloved, and with the beloved, we're gonna create uh, what's called the opportunity up for the beloved. We're gonna create what the obstacle for the beloved, and we're gonna create the dream for the beloved. And the way we're gonna do this is by answering a specific question depending on what role we chose. So um, as a beloved. Uh, you're going to answer the dream question, which is what is the beloved's goal or ambition? Uh, the suitor two, so Adam, you're going to be answering the obstacle question, which is what major challenge is the beloved facing? And and me as suitor one, as why is the beloved available? Um, so I'm going to put opportunity. <laughs> um. Oh, I got it. Um. Oh, actually. Why are they available? So I'm thinking she is like the, or maybe it's he, maybe it's a he. He's like the, uh, what's the name of the guy who wins the Tour de France all the time? Uh, the, uh, Lance Armstrong. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like she just wins. All she does is win, right? Um, so I think the opportunity is that uh, she's recently divorced. <laughs> Um, from a rival um, racer, so that's why she's available. Can I can I make an interjection there? Sure. What's up? Can it be not a rival racer, like maybe like manager or something like? Oh that? yeah, or manager. Um, yeah, that's cool. Who is like still my manager? Yeah. Neither here nor there, but because. Um, Ooh. I feel like if she just gotten out of a relationship with a fellow racer, she would not be looking to go down that path again. Yeah. And I don't want to uh, preemptively sabotage her chances. Thank you for looking out for me. <laughs> Spike Ma is a good option. Lover died recently in a fiery crash. I was considering it. So mine's opportunity. Uh, obstacle or dream? Anybody want to go? Anyone, anyone need me to repeat their question? Uh, I have an idea for my dream, but uh, well, I don't know. I already started writing dream, so let's do it. Okay. Uh, she wants to get off this planet. She feels like she's reached the top of her game here, and uh, she needs to... Does she want to retire somewhere, or does she just want to get off this planet? I feel like she's like feeling like the itch to move. Like She doesn't know where she wants to go, but it's not here. And she knows that there's a whole wide universe out there, and she has never been. Uh, wanderlust. Yeah, it's it's a wanderlust mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Um, yeah. and she's got to go fast in space. <laughs> um, okay, so for the obstacle, um, it's gonna be, I don't know the name, like but the, the the, the, like the croissant 500 ever like the like the big huge race that everyone wants to win the croissant 500 is perfect <laughs> got this um the, we want to get our underground like, race, like team. race and i can't spell premiere Shh. how do you spell premiere i-e-r-e -E. -E yeah there we go -E? yeah. yeah the premier uh pod racing um tournament race yeah or pod race or race challenge, heat challenge yeah. thing <laughs> so the obstacle is that they need to compete and do they need to win yeah like i was thinking like maybe like like the, the prize for that is uh like a chance off or something like that maybe like the prize is a ship or something like that okay like so her obstacle to get off of the planet is winning the the croissant 500 <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be like an obstacle to so, the relationship as opposed yeah. to what oh, my goal. Or is not, it both? Not really. So it, so the book the book verbatim says, beneath the attributes for the beloved, each person writes an answer to one of the following questions. Uh, and that just gives the questions there. And the example is, the opportunity for the beloved of a pirate named Captain Jack is that the two lady pirates are his only equals. Uh, his obstacle is that the entire British Navy was after him, and the dream of the beloved is to become an admiral of a pirate fleet. 
So okay. I think I think we're so, okay with this. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. The biggest challenge is I need to win that race. Need to. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so now we come up uh, with the suitor's traits uh, in terms of a person, place, and thing. So we have our three adorable little things here, right? And But now we're going to come up with uh, some extra things. So we're going to come up with a person, a place, and a thing for each of our suitors. Um, a person may be a friend or ally, rival or acquaintance. Uh, the place may be somewhere they frequent or maybe they're associated with uh, basically a, a, a location where you want to see play. And last but not least, a thing would be an object that they use. Um, I got good ones for all of these. Jeez. Um, ooh. Do we just pick one for, do we just pick one for ourselves and then pick one for the other? Uh, for first? this, the suitor playing the character in question chooses first and the others go. The The beloved goes last. So, okay. um, okay. Yeah, we can start with you then if you want to just yeah. go in an order. Okay. Uh, I'm going to choose a person. I'm going to choose a... Oh, do I choose my brother? Yeah, I'm going to choose my... I have a big brother. Um, big brother for my pit crew. Watches out for me. Okay, that's my that's my person. Okay. Um, a thing or a place. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say a place is. I don't know if it, I don't know. I, I'm assuming it would be like an apartment, maybe that has like a like a garage attached or something like that. But like your home, so like a, a cool a cool apartment with an attached garage that you won in an old race. Ooh. Nice. So, um, like, like a mechanics garage where you like worked on his, uh, pod. Yeah. Cause you, like that, that's where you built, like, um, you built your, I'm not sure. I guess I'm not sure if you built it or not. Yeah. But, um, custom yeah. garage. Yeah. Home with custom mm -hmm. garage. Nice. Nice. I like that. All right. And then a thing, um, A shark, does it give you nudges when you mess up on your races? Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, hmm, hmm. The big brother is actually the midget Zambrak. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think your thing is a, um, it is a, uh, a worn set of keys to your first pod racer like the Good. first pod you ever read based it's been scrapped but you still have the keys that's a memento mm -hmm. dig it cool so now we okay. come up with some stuff for suitor two all right uh <clears throat> i'm also gonna say a person for mine i'm gonna say like the i'm not sure what the term is for like the leader of a pit crew but um like pit boss pit lord pit boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess like the, the the foreman pit boss whatever of our crew um who would like i don't know if i don't know, i guess i'm not sure pit if he, maybe he's uh maybe he's like a, he's just he's like a family friend that got me the job sure yeah pit manager got you the job yeah no one picked can use the force as an advantage <laughs> yeah, no. You know, I thought about that as as like your is human butt, but <laughs> I was like, nah. Okay, pit manager, pit manager. <laughs> All right, yep. Bounce to you. Um, a place. Um, or a thing. Oh, the cantina. Oh, uh, sweet. The cantina is where you, it's, it's your local haunt. 
It's where that I was gamble. Literally, yeah. what I would pick. <laughs> it was almost verbatim what I was gonna say. So. Is that where I go to gamble? Oh. And drink and hang yeah. out. <laughs> um. Great mind. You know what they say about great minds? They think like Kelsey. Get out. <laughs> you. Thank you. Uh, so for your thing, um, um, I think you have a dead spouse, and you oh. carry around um, their wedding ring and yours on a necklace. Wow. Dead spouse's wedding band. Right to the feels. Yeah. We're hitting them hard. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I mean, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, can I, can we, can that be canon? <laughs> <laughs> Done. Played by Vin Diesel. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so now, now we're going to come up with conflicts. So, um, a conflict is a special trait that each of the suitors have. Uh, it's a characteristic which creates difficulties or complications for the suitor in pursuing the beloved. This trait will give players a bonus in play, but in order to use it, they must narrate something that complicates the story or makes things harder for the character and add a new trait to the character. Uh, that reflects what has been described. A character's conflict may also be used by other players throughout the game. At various points during play, bonus dice are rewarded for narrating events that highlight characters' conflicts. Uh, example conflicts given from the book is that a pirate was sworn never to take orders from another while her beloved Jack seeks to command her in a pirate fleet. Uh, another example would be uh, Caleb is an alien spy paid to infiltrate uh, this uh, galactic league which undermines a princess's goal to create peace between warring factions in their empire. Uh, another one might be uh, Sanjay is risking his friendship with Laura, the other suitor with whom he's competing for Rita's love. So, um, so are we coming up with this uh, collaboratively? No, I think we come up with it individually here. Oh, okay. Oh man. <laughs> Strawberry just came up with a really sad scene idea. Oh yes. <laughs> gotta gotta keep that one on the back burner. Yeah. Oh boy. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> um, I guess do we come up with uh the other or do we come up with one for ourselves? Uh, I think we come up for ourselves, but I think it's kind okay. of we can talk about it if we want. I don't know if it's too easy, but I owe money to the wrong people. Yeah. You're in debt. That, yeah, yeah. I mean I I'm in debt to like bad people. And so how does that directly, like, conflict with... Because they may come and, like, try to do things to you? Yeah. Uh, you can just kind of, like, press that button to give yourself yeah. uh, fictional positioning. But Like, maybe I'm in hiding dice. or something. Maybe, uh... Mm. Yeah. Something. I think it can come up a few ways, kind of. It might just mm. depend on the scene, but... Yeah. Cool, yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking, um, our beloved manager hates me. <laughs> what do you think? Are they still my manager? It, is that canon now too? Beloved definitely oh, has a manager. Wait, what? The person that you divorced? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you divorced from their manager. They're, are they still their right, manager? But, but there's oh. but, but the question is is are they yeah, still manager? Are they get a new manager? No, it's still your manager, I think. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, that's better. <laughs> Book, bookie the hot. <laughs> Good job, Strawberry. <laughs> Cannon. What's up? Yep. Bookie the hot. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. 
Uh, so once we're, do, we're uh, finished with that, uh, well, all we have to do is now uh, come up with sort of our name for our characters and see how they kind of all fit together. So I'm um, looking over my character. So I have a custom built pod racer. Clearly I built it myself. Um, I was probably, so I was probably like picked on. Um, my big brother showed me the way and taught me how to uh, escape my, my troubles by, by pod racing. <laughs> um, home with the garage. I think our parents died. And this is our my family's home. And uh, I think I think my first pod racer. Oh yeah, and my first pod race, uh, I lost. I lost it. I lost my pod racer to Bookie the Hut, and I uh -huh. had to build my own. And since then, I've been getting more and more successful with my custom pod racer. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But did we establish what our end goal oh. was? We need that. I think. Um. Yeah. What the prize is. Mm -hmm. Did we not establish the prize? Did not. Not uh, officially. It's oh. not been. Uh... I get the prize. Oh, it's the dream. Mm, the dream is different than the prize. Nope. The in a three-player, is... uh, I'm pretty sure it's the, it's in a three-player game. It's the dream. Mm, no. Um. So over the course of the game, players will narrate suitors' pursuits of the beloved and the obstacles that enter their paths. Uh, in a three-player game, the players take turns pursuing their goals. The prize for the suitors' players, the dream for the beloved's player. Oh, our, you mean our our prize yeah. for suitors? Yeah, your prize. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well played. Yes. Uh, it's, so it's our unique connection uh, with the beloved, as as Asteni puts it. So thank you so much for that. So this is what we get if we win? Yeah, like like it's how do you know what what do you what is the end goal for the two of you? I guess is well, it I, guess I don't know if we is it something that we know or is this something that's just out of character like a, a achievement unlock um, kind of thing? Like, cause I, cause I was gonna say leaving the planet with the beloved. That's what I was thinking too, and mm -hmm. maybe you don't realize that that's what the goal is at first, yeah. but is what the goal would be like the win scenario uh -huh. okay so yeah so the prize so that's that's the prize that we both will be sharing right yeah so like yeah, our yeah. the winner the between or the us, other of you will yeah so the winner between us gets like when we win we leave with the leave the planet them. with the beloved Yeah, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave croissant for um, English muffin seven. <laughs> yep. Okay. So much healthier. So much healthier. <laughs> okay. Um. Do we? We need to come up with their names. Okay. Um, Random Star Wars name generator. I like the name Zuby. It's good. Pretty Star Warsy, like Zuby Zuby Wiggums, something like that. <laughs> um, I will say. Suda is going to be named uh, Tula. T O O L A. Zuby and Tula. So, what does um, what does the beloved mean to Tula? Because I should answer this question as well. Also, okay. also let us know when you have a name. I I'm I'm still thinking about it actually. Okay. So, go about your business. Sure. So what's the relationship between you and the beloved right now? Um, I think the squad that I'm new to is hers. Oh, you're in a pretty, yeah, you're in a pretty yeah. squad. Okay. Um, what's the current relationship like? Does she recognize you or anything? Is this like maybe. your maybe maybe your first scene might be with like your first day or something? It's, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So it's. I probably I probably definitely know of them. Okay. Like um, in the, in the, maybe maybe this was like a big thing. Like I went to my Wookie pit manager guy friend, and I was like, "You need to get me on the crew." Like I don't care. I'm kind <laughs> of. I think I, I think I'm kind of the rising star. My relationship with her is that um, I'm making the name for myself as becoming like an up and coming pod racer. I think why the manager hates me is that <laughs> I think the manager actually sabotaged my first pod race. <gasps> what? Uh, in part of a betting what? scheme for Bookie the Hut. And I think he hates that I'm still successful and he thinks he's afraid that I'm going to find out. That might be. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to send that to you. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Vin Diesel is Wookie Pit Boss. That's amazing. Uh, everybody, everybody, that? look at this. Flip, Sky, Flip Skywick, you are you are incredible. That is amazing. You are incredible. We need to. <laughs> yeah. link to that in the Can you imagine Vin Diesel playing a Wookie? You would just be like, Yo, mm. Yo, I'm a Wookie. <laughs> cut, cut. No, Vin, you're supposed to. It's it's like a, it's more of a growl. <laughs> oh, so I don't do growls. Vin Diesel doesn't do. He only talks in third person. <laughs> someone write that that, that Wookies can actually talk. Some, someone, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh. I love it. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Thank you so much for that, Flip Sky. Our Flip Sky. Oh, the fast and the furriest. <laughs> now we should all be wikis. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Okay. okay. So let's let's get the name for the beloved. Oh right, I thought of one. Uh, Baz. Um, cool. Baz is um. It's a guy. Uh I'm. Mm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna flip a coin because I I don't know. It could go either way for that one. I know that's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, on a one, it roll, is roll a D two, and that's how many X chromosomes you have. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There we go. Male. Male. Okay. Malay. Am I tight tight tonight? God. It's one Z. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm awful with alien names. It's so rude. <laughs> so rude of me. Racist. <laughs> Uh, cool. I think that finishes our character creation. We're ready to be, uh, ready to begin, right? Yeah, cool. I think so. Cool. Uh, so uh, I think on that, then we're gonna go to our first break. Uh, it's ten ten oh seven, so we'll be back in in eight minutes for uh, for the actual starting of our scenes of of shooting the moon with with our hilarious urban pod racing. Uh, great. Yeah. Sexy pod races. Sexy pod racing. <laughs> the sexiest pod racing. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I uh, really appreciate it, and I'll see you after the break. <laughs> 